Welcome to Hydro Engineering. This is the Advanced Total Aircraft Wash System. First of its kind to combine two wash platforms, engine wash and external wash. This is the Hydro Blaster model GHO ATAWS. The following video, we're going to explain some of the nuances of this equipment, the, uh, how it operates, and some of the features of the equipment. This side of the aircraft wash system is for the external wash. You have your control panel, you have your receiver tank, and you have your two holes reels to, uh, that will apply, the, that will rinse, this, that will rinse the, the soapy water off the aircraft. One point is that this system conforms to the Tri-Service Manual, Air Force Manual 1-1-691, as well as Nav Air 509-2, which restricts the pressures allow, allowable on the aircraft surface at 175 PSI. This system is set not to exceed that. The system is also set to conform to temperatures not to exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit onto the aircraft. Now as we do a walk around this, we're going to start with the aircraft external wash side and end up with the turbine engine wash side, which is on the opposite side of this. The, aircraft, this has <coughs> the control panel for the aircraft wash side also powers the whole system in hull. You have your control panel, you have your receiver tank for the uh, air compressor. The air compressor is used to close the fuel bleed bands of the CH-47, T-55, 714, and 715 engines. We have a waste tank, which disallows any, um, any, high, any water to be uh, discharged onto the ground should a, a, a temperature relief valve, which is a safety feature on the head of the pump, should that be engaged, this will capture the water coming off, the water or the, the gas path coming off the head of the pump. The system uh, is, is, designed to the, uh, is designed with the operators to observe a 12-inch standoff with a 40-degree fan, fan nozzle at a 35-degree down angle. That's proper procedures for washing the external side of the aircraft. It's equipped with a 525-gallon fresh water tank, which allows up to three, possibly four aircraft uh, conservatively if water is used. Two hose reels on the curb side. Uh, the first one is a water inlet reel, which will allow you to bypass the 525 gallon tank, where it will also allow you to fill the 525 gallon tank. The bottom one is the pre spray hose reel, so this allows you to pre spray and soak the, uh, the aircraft prior to, rent, prior to soaping it with the uh, high volume foam, which is used out of the number one hose reel on the foam side of it. It allows you to scrub, soak, and then begin your rinsing with the two hose reels. Uh, it's uh, also supplied with two soap supply tanks. One is a soap for the external wash. One is a gas path cleaner for the engine wash. Each are 30 gallons, so you have sufficient supply of, of both to accommodate your aircraft washing. System is also equipped with a, uh, with a heavy duty toolbox. Toolbox is designed to carry any, uh, any spare items needed for a wash, as well as maintenance items, tools, spare parts, filters, etc. It's set up to be equipped for, a, uh, for any deployable unit, uh, AFSOC, MARSOC, anybody who's deploying can send this out, and it's going to have a, a good supply of uh, support parts for its first initial field stint. <clears throat> the fluid. We come on, on to the uh, off curb side. This is the fluid reel that supplies the, uh, the fluid to your turbine engine wash system. So now we're moving into the turbine side of the, of the operation. The system deploys out and it will connect with the REDS HM, which is the uh, remote dual engine wash harness. This was developed specifically by Hydro Engineering to work with our, our equipment to allow the operators to be able to interface with two engines at the same time without having to connect and disconnect with, uh, with each side of the aircraft and do one engine at a time, you can do two. What you're going to do is you're going to push your fluid to clean engine number one. While engine number one is soaking, you're going to start your, your push of your fluid to engine number two and you do proceed, to per, uh, pre proceed through until the rinse cycles have been completed. All of that's done is by a shoulder held uh, control <coughs> control harness that allows you to stand in front of the front of the aircraft and control everything at your hands. 
The system is supplied with a hot water burner. The hot water burner is to rinse the aircraft. It is regulated and set. The temperature is non-adjustable and is set not to exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which again falls in line with the tri-service manual and all the tech orders. The two side is very simple. You use your, you have your air out, so you run your airline out to your, uh, to your wash harness, to your uh, control man, your manifold, your wash harness control manifold, and uh, you engage everything here with the shutoff valves engaged there, and that allows you to to proceed. Um, with, uh, with your washing program. <clears throat> Within the engine bonnet, and here's a safety feature to point out, the ATOS comes with a, uh, a retention device that allows this to stay open even in high winds, which is, happens quite frequently on a, on a flight line. This will alleviate any possibility of the door slamming shut on Across the front of the engine door, you've got, uh, you've got the spray nozzles for the engine wash side, you've got your two's wash harnesses, your cold section side, and then you've got your, your hot section wash uh, nozzles. The hot section wash nozzles are designed to work with the GE T700, 701, as well as the T55, 714, 715 engines on the hot section side. The operators will remove, remove the fuel nozzles, insert these, and this allows them to, to, success, to clean that in succession, just as you would with any other engine wash. In closing, the Hydro Engineering ATAWS GHO is UL1776 certified, which is mandated by the United States Department of Defense. That's a heavy classification of a safety certificate to have. The system is, uh, is rugged and it has, a, it has a pedigree of well over 10 years in active service right now. And uh, the first generation of units are still operating. Thank you.